So our tutorial for today is going from a climb to a cross-legged sit to a layback. So this one is kind of a beginner invert, but um, don't try this alone. I'm not going to lie to you. This one can feel a little bit scary because you're going to be going upside down. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can do this. One that will feel a lot more secure when you're first learning it. Before we take it up there, let's talk about some things down here. As you can see, I've got my mat. Uh, I suggest you learn this move with a mat and under the supervision of someone else. Um, this guy thinks he's got my back, but I suggest you find a human to watch yours. Right, Stinky? Yeah. So we're down here because I want you to practice squeezing your inner thighs. So when you're in your inner thigh set, one leg is going to be on top of the other. You're going to have your ankles crossed and you're going to squeeze your thighs. So I want you to practice pretending to break the pole in half with your thigh squeeze. So squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Try that on both sides. That's what's going to hold you in the air. So when you lay back, the pole is going to come a little bit further down. So don't be afraid. So you can practice just holding this and squeezing and you can see what it feels like. It's not too comfortable. And then you can also practice sitting up. So just now that's how you're going to sit up with an abdominal crunch. So you're going to lay back. You're going to squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then when you sit up, you're going to crunch up and let your hands find the pole. Practice that with both legs on top. Also to note, when you do the figure four, whatever leg is on top is gonna bend. And then for support, opposite hand can grab that foot. The pole is gonna come into the knee part of your leg and you'll lay back. Then you'll release the free hand first and then the opposite arm. And your arms will be behind you. So again, if this leg were on top, this leg would be the one to bend this hand We'll grab for this foot. The pole is going to come to about here. I release this hand. My hands can go behind me and then I'll use my abs to sit up and find the pole. All right, let's take it up. So how was that for you? Is it scary? I first learning to go upside down, it scares me and it still scares me a little bit. So um, if you're nervous, don't be afraid. Don't try, be afraid to, you know, start low and then work your way up. Do it in increments. Let me know how it goes for you. See you for the next one. Bye.